My name is Allison Price and I'm with the OpenStack Foundation and today I have Yusuf who is one of the user group coordinators in the OpenStack community and I'd like to go ahead and pass it over to him to introduce himself and how he is involved in his local community. All right Allison, thank you so much for that. Uh, so I'm Yusuf Raja, I live in a very exciting place called Durban, South Africa and uh, hope a lot of you guys come and visit soon. Uh, so the reason I started uh, the Durban uh, OpenStack user group was that uh, I started using OpenStack about two years ago. The reason I started uh, looking at it is um, I work with many different types of organization and uh, South Africa is quite diverse. So we've got SMMEs that are uh, able to afford certain types of technologies. And then we've got quite rural type of communities who need technologies, but they have very limited access to it. And um, so I thought, um, a thing like a free and open source cloud operating system sounds like something every community would want to use because uh, without the internet, without access to simple things like I think uh, Uber has made stuff so exciting uh, for users. But uh, if you don't have an infrastructure to run things like that on, you can't apply it in a local context. And so when I looked around, uh, there was nobody. And after two years, I figured uh, if nobody did it by now, I better start it and hopefully they'll come. So that's how it started. Awesome. And what has the response been like in your community so far? Have you had a lot of people interested in joining meetups or how has that kind of effort started? Okay. So um, ironically, it's, it's, it works a lot more by me actually talking to someone face to face and saying, Hey, have you heard of OpenStack? Um, uh, this, I, I don't know if uh, guys, uh, other user groups have this thing, but I literally made posters and went to like the local stores and stuff and put posters up so that people would just at least see the name and then ask about it. Uh, and then um, within, you know, people were actually are involved in DevOps in our country. Uh, some of the people, members of the team haven't even heard the name OpenStack. So, uh, you know, uh, it, I, I started asking myself, how, why? You know, it, it's, and it's similar to, to a few years ago when uh, we started using Linux, but a lot of people were, uh, down here, they don't, they don't pronounce it Linux, they say Linux. So it, it just goes to show you, like, there's a lot of uh, barriers to entry for the technology. And um, so I have to do a lot of explaining first, but once the guys start to get it, then they can start seeing, hey, wait, this is something we need to pay attention to because it's actually quite an important piece of technology that we need to be a part of. And also, um, I don't know, maybe it's a geek or nerd thing to say, but it's also quite a feat of engineering because it's not just a code, it's this whole community, they all over the world, uh, they get up and go to sleep at different times. They are so <laughs> diverse. And, and, you know, our country's history, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we've been through a lot when it comes to uh, being able to uh, communicate with each other as a normal community. We, we were literally kept physically apart. So you had white people in, that lived in separate places, black people that lived in separate places. So we've got all those hoops to jump through. And I think technology, especially something like OpenStack, is a fantastic platform to start bringing people together in a creative way. Because, I mean, uh, um, I make my living off uh, consulting on things like Linux and OpenStack. If they didn't exist, I wouldn't be able to send my kids to school. So it makes a big impact on my life. And we have a lot of intelligent people here, but unfortunately, to get to them and to get the resources they need is a bit of a challenge. Um, but I think that's going to change now. Yeah. Definitely. That's a great story. And it's really interesting, like you said, how it impacts your country as y'all are, you know, you're trying to spread the word and your, your ideas for how OpenStack can bridge even some of the culturally, um, cultural things in your country that y'all are yeah. facing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you mentioned that you've been, in the, you've been using OpenStack or around OpenStack for two years. What have you seen change? Because um, we're, we're this month is the sixth birthday. So what have you seen change? And what do you think is going to change next? Like, what do you foresee to come? Uh, well, look, um, in terms of, uh, uh, okay, let's, let's start at the interface level. 
uh, there have been a lot of nice changes in Horizon. Uh, it's simple things, but the fact that when you click on the network tab and you can see that beautiful network uh, topology diagram pop up, um, uh, it's a bit of eye candy, but that same eye candy is what uh, a lot of people look at on this end to take something seriously. They want to see, uh, it doesn't matter that it's free and that it's open source, they, that, that's secondary to them, you know. They want to see a polished product that works and when they can actually start seeing the, those things uh, doing something meaningful for them, then they start to get onto it. Um, in the earlier days when uh, I was first putting uh, for one of our, uh, an example client, is a, it's, a, it's a large educational institution and uh, they serve content for people outside of uh, South Africa as well. So they depend on an environment that's a bit elastic. However, they don't use cloud technologies to do that. They're still using quite traditional methods. And to get them to make those steps uh, has taken a long time and they've taken it and stuck. Um, you know, the faith in the technology is not yet there. So when changes in OpenStack happen, like for example, uh, the object storage, you know, it's a simple thing, but to explain object storage to, to people here and why it's important, it, it, you can only win them over when you can actually display the technology at work for them. And what has happened, things like for Ansible and OpenStack, that has been a good thing for me, because it means standing OpenStack up was a lot easier and I could demonstrate it, you know? And, and so things like that have, have made the difference where you can show, uh, you know, a real use case for why this works, you know? Definitely. And so this month, we, you know, you signed up to celebrate. So what is your local community or what are you doing in the community to celebrate the sixth birthday with the folks that you have gotten interested? Okay, so um, thank you very much. Uh, we are so excited to have this party. Uh, I don't know if I can just tilt the screen to show you our very proud uh, t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> That's very uh, exciting. <laughs> so, uh, so what I figured is um, how we would uh, get the word out is bright red t-shirts with a big six on it and a whole lot of people that's gonna get some attention. So that's good, it's an uh, icebreaker. Uh, so we've got t-shirts, there's a cake and I'll send you guys pictures with the logo and stuff on it. Um, the idea is to have a bit of a festive type of attitude and laid back uh, setting. So we've got some nice music. We had a place called Green Door that's very like laid back and you know chilled out because um, people get really nervous about hearing about this new technology and, and using words like cloud. Like people even in the tech sector you still think cloud means you're storing your files in the internet or you know like that type of thing. It's, it's still a little primitive in a way but it's not their fault they need to be educated more about it. So I want to do that in a, in a playful environment and so we're gonna um, have uh, you know a little presentation, lighthearted uh, talk, and a bit of Q and A, and then uh, we're gonna raffle off the, the exam. Thank you guys very very much for that because actually that's the part I'm really excited about. Um, the person that gets that opportunity uh, is actually, uh, and I cannot emphasize what a huge opportunity it is because it can change their lives. Um, there's very few DevOps in our country. Uh, a lot of us who use the word DevOps also are not uh, entirely uh, confident that we are applying it the same way like everyone else. You know, so um, we just need a few guys to uh, sort of uh, run with it and then I, they're gonna get it, they're gonna get it. Uh, and I'm excited about that, I'm really excited about that. That's fantastic. We're very excited to have someone um, in each user group take the, the certified OpenStack administrator, the COA exam. So definitely interested for feedback and excited to get more people trained around the world who can, you know, do what you do and share that message. Um, thank you again, though. You said this was really great and it's really interesting to learn about OpenStack in your area. And I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and talk with us. You're welcome. Uh, it's been such a privilege for me. I'm, I mean, I cannot tell you how, how grateful I am. I mean, um, I wish that uh, a lot more people around you can get that kind of fever. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, maybe you guys know about it. Maybe this, you've got a bug in your code. 
it bites the, the person that starts using it. And then they get a fever and then open stack thing starts. I'm hoping to check more people with that open stack fever and, and get them excited. <laughs> I believe in the technology. I, I feel it can make a difference to at a very, you know, at a very real level to, to people who never thought technology could be their friend.